for the shooting of death of two construction workers in Hanover. The police are yet to establish a motive for a gun attack in Green Island, and over Tuesday night with left two men dead and three others injured. The deceased men have been identified as 27-year-old Aon Richards and 27-year-old O'Neill Spencer. Both men are laborers from the Mavis Bank in St. Andrew. Both men were employed at the construction site of a large hotel being constructed in the Green Island area. Reports are that about 8 p.m. the men were at an eatery when a gunman walked up and opened fire. The, construct, the condition of the three others were shot in the incident are not considered serious. The rape murder of a 15-year-old leave the community in fear. Venice Anderson, who says she has been getting the threats since the tragedy, is consoled Tuesday by People's National Party councillor, caretaker for the Albert Town Division, Lord Gillins, at her home in Cotton 3, Trelawney. The home where the murder took place was visited by Trelawney Southern Member of Parliament, Marisa Darylimpo, Pilbert Mayor of Falmouth, councillor C.J. Ganger, Minister of Education Favel Williams and People's National Party Councillor, caretaker for the Alberton Division, Lloyd Gillins, at the Anderson home in Cotton Tree, Trelawney on Tuesday. Venice Anderson, whose granddaughter was unharmed during the attack, was also present. Traumatized by the rape and murder of the 15 year old Jamelia Cole, some of her classmates at Troy High School in Trelawney have already reached out for help. But guidance counselor Melody Smith is dreading the flood of emotions that will be released when school resumes next month. Teachers too have been left shocked and horrified at the Sunday morning home invasion that also left Jamelia's mother and her 17-year-old cousin hospitalized. The nine-year-old that was not harmed is Venice Anderson's grandchild and she told the observer that she has received death threats from relatives who are speculating about the perpetrator's identity based on the fact that the child was unharmed. They say the reason for the attack must be a feud if my granddaughter was not hurt. Bemond Anderson, Jamelia's mother, is her daughter-in-law. With rampant rumors of a family feud, the police say they are not they are not ruling out anything as they investigate the horrific attack. One man is in custody for questioning. On Tuesday, family members and residents who milled around the community appeared cell shocked. It has not helped that their community has made headlines even beyond Jamaica's border. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.